Welcome back everybody, David Shepard here on the Humble Hotshot channel. I know it's been a little while since our last video. We had a little bit of downtime, doing some maintenance on the truck, a couple paperwork things we had to renew, and we're also making a little bit of a transition with our equipment. So I'm going to tell you guys all about that. I'm going to show you the power only load behind me, all right after a quick word of scripture. And I know it's a little windy out here, hopefully it's not too bad on the ears, and I hope it's worth it for these beautiful views we got out here. So. Praise God. Today I've got Romans 6 verse 1. Paul was writing to the Romans here and he's basically explaining how grace came through Jesus Christ and that salvation is not gained by keeping rules or, or trying to be really good. We'll never be good enough to win it on our own. So in response to that though, he says in, in verse 1, what then are we to say? What then are we to say? Should we go on sinning so that grace may abound? By no means. And I've heard, I've kind of heard this question maybe from some unbelievers who ask, well, if you know you have a savior and your sins are forgiven, aren't you just going to live however you want to? And you always have that forgiveness to fall back on. And no, Paul says, by no means should you go on sinning in response to that grace. Rather, you should aim towards righteousness and strive to overcome those sins and look to Jesus as your example, because he lived that perfect sinless life. So Praise God. Hope that maybe answers the question or encourages some of you guys in your walk. Um, but today we've got a 26-foot travel trailer. It is actually a little toy hauler. It's got the ramp door in the back, but still super light, pulls great. I even got my got my personal motorcycle in the bed of the truck, so that's like almost another 500 pounds. But pulling great, nice load, getting decent fuel mileage, which is great considering fuel prices now. But uh, praise God, we're moving forward and. We are going to be doing quite a bit more power only stuff and definitely RV transport type stuff. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that industry is kind of booming right now. There's a lot of people that strictly do RV transport, but still there's a lot of work, work that I'm seeing for RVs uh, regardless. So um, that's a little bit of the transition. Um, I actually sold the PJ Tilt Deck Gooseneck trailer. That trailer was great, did what we needed it to do kind of for freight and cars together but as you guys know if you saw the uh the two car video that i put up it's not really meant for two full-size cars so without giving everything away basically we're trying to make a move to potentially double our car hauling and double our rv transport in some cases and i've also made some contacts with uh some trailer deal dealers that need enclosed trailers transported multiple units at a time so that probably gives you a hint of what's coming next, but please stay tuned. I think you guys are going to like the new trailer, and that'll be coming soon. In the meantime, we are going to be doing uh, power only to kind of get through. Uh, new trailers being built. So, a um, couple things with these power onlys. You know, people always ask, all right, I'll, I'm sure a lot of you guys know the new units are coming out of Indiana, and people always ask, well, how do you get a backhaul? And a lot of guys don't. But that's not the way that's not the way I operate and, and others are the same. But you know, I'll pick up a load, bring it, this one's going up in Idaho, drop it off, and then you look Idaho to your next destination, or you just kind of map out a route that might lead eventually towards home. It's not like I'm running to Idaho and then I have to find a load directly back. So hope that kind of answers clears something up with the back hauls, you know. If you can make a big loop and kind of head back towards home, that's the best way to do it. Granted, there's always going to be some deadhead miles, and you know, you just try to do the best you can and find the loads that are going to make it work for you. So, um, quick video today, really not much to go over with this bumper pull. We're going to get it dropped off again. Pulls great, the truck's doing well, and um, praise God, we're trucking. So, um, please stay tuned, please subscribe to the channel. If you guys want to see the new trailer and uh, keep hearing more of the Word of God, really hope it encourages you guys. So take care. I love each and every one of you, and uh, praise God. I'll see you on the next one.